Well, it's week one, day one of LCS Spring Split with coverage brought to you by Alienware. I'm joined right now by Spica from FlyQuest. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm great. <laughs> Fantastic. Uh, I'm sure you are doing really great because you guys just did very well against Team Liquid. Mm -hmm. Did you expect the game to be as one-sided as it was? Mm, yeah, I mean, I, I expected them to surprise me more uh, because they have like really, really good players, right? Uh, Pure Shake, who just won World, Summit, who, are the, who was the LCS MVP, and then obviously Core has a really long history of doing well. Um, so I was really surprised how easy I found the game. I felt it didn't really feel a lot of pressure and just felt like victory was ours after uh, that failed mid-dive by Pure Shake. Um, so I would say they played below my expectation. Mm -hmm. There's been a lot of people who have been placing FlyQuest as number one or number two in the power rankings. Uh, I, I think that you guys could be a great team, but it yeah. still surprised me because a lot of people haven't ever seen you guys play together, relatively new roster. What do you think of it whenever you see people place you guys so high? Well, for me, I guess the main thing is to not get complacent because I, I know um, from my experiences of being on a top team, um, getting complacent is what makes you lose. Especially when you're playing against teams that you perceive as worse, you're going to start playing more lax and then you lose and then um, it's just not a great feeling, right? So I, I think just focus on ourselves. Don't focus on the opponents we're playing against because I, I feel like, especially in Spring Split where it is just all new teams, we don't, everyone is trying to figure out how to play with each other, right? How to uh, be a team, I feel like just, just uh, you know, setting that communication structure straight and just playing together, know what everyone wants to do is the most important thing. And, you know, it's less about worrying about your your opponent, but more about yourself. So, you know, I'm just focused on, on ourselves right now. Well, you're focused on yourself, but you said you don't want to get complacent when you're on a top team. Yes. Do you already feel like you're on a top team? Is this FlyQuest well, a top <laughs> team? I guess, like, I mean, I, I think our ceiling is definitely really, really high. Uh, right now, we definitely still has a lot of um, communication issues, um, how we want to structure the communication. So I, I think that is our biggest struggle right now. But I think once we get that going, I feel like we're, we're, we're going to be a really good team. How are you navigating uh, comms? Because obviously there's a bit of a language barrier between you and some of the players. Yes. Um, so far, we are just using a lot of simple English. Um, we review how we talk to each other after scrims. Um, and we don't. before we were using a lot of Koreans, which I don't really understand, but right now we're transitioning to just using simple English. Um, you know, if it's like a really, really urgent situation um, on stage, we will use Koreans, but okay. most of the time, I think we're just going to use English. Especially since, um, you know, Ayla doesn't speak Korean, right? Uh, once he uh, fixes his visa issue, so we'll have two English speakers, so yes. we need to get that fixed up. So you've you've learned a little Korean in the short term? Well, we are taking Korean lessons. Oh. Yeah, all the, all the non-Korean speaking people are taking Korean lessons, like, okay. every week, so we're trying to understand a little bit. Um, is, is the idea to eventually transition to Kore Korean? I'm not, I, I think we just take Korean lessons to have an under, just to be I guess more culturally similar. Okay. Um, I, I don't think it hurts. It's still like a useful skill to have, especially league. You deal with a lot of like Korean speaking people, right? So, yeah. you know, I, I think it's good to show the Korean players that we are also putting an effort trying to, I guess, assimilate the culture, right? Yes. It's not like we're gonna use Korean to calm everything, but we're just, you know, learning each, about each other's culture, I would are, say. Are they taking English lessons? Yes. Oh, that's cool. Okay, so you guys are taking Korean, they're yeah. taking English, and yes, then. Yes. Eventually, everything will be, your your whole comms will just become a uh, mixture of both. It'll be like a hot pot. I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's hard for me to, like, when there's Korean in the game, it's hard for me to think. Yeah, yeah. So hopefully, yeah. you know, just mostly English. Uh, but yeah. we'll see. We'll yeah, see yeah. what happens. Yeah. Well, I think it's cool that you guys are both uh, learning each other's languages. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. I've been asking other people to get an idea of where they think everything stands in terms of the other rosters. Like, are, mm -hmm. are the, you... Are there other teams that you look at where you say, okay, they are as good as us, they might be better than us, et cetera, based off of scrims or what you've seen today, anything at all? No, I mean, I, th I think right now we're still very inconsistent. Um, so I'm, I can't confidently say we're going to, you know, shit on everyone. I think we have uh, some issues that might cause us to lose games, especially communication issues, right? Um, so, you know, I don't want to speak too early, but I do, I do think, um, I think EG uh, is one of my top teams for sure that I can say, I think. Um, so that is what I got so far. So looking like EG for you is a, a team that's going to yeah, stand out. If I were to have to pick one yes. right now. Yeah. Uh, all right. Other than that, what's it been like playing with all these guys? I mean, Prince, I knew nothing about, but it seems like he has a very big personality. Yes, he, is, yeah. he is very easy to talk to. And he's really funny. So yeah. and, and I think Vic is on more of the quiet side, but I, I think you need that balance in the team, you know? 
yeah. especially in game, you don't want too many loud voices. You need to balance that out. So I, th I think we have a really great balance, yeah. to be honest. So Vic, Vicless a little bit more chill? Yes, he's more chill. Okay, gotcha. He's yeah. more chill. He's the one that just, you know, takes a flame in review. It's like, mm, I got it, I got it, you know. Have, have there been any funny interactions or moments with these guys yet? Uh, not yet, I would say. I mean, we're just scrimming, yeah. you know, every day, working hard, know. you know. I didn't know if there's been any moments somebody gets lost out there or, you know, I don't I mean, know. We're... Just because we're gamers doesn't mean we don't know how to live a normal life, you know what I'm saying? You know, I've been doing this for a while, and I'm not always as confident in gamers' abilities to... Well, honestly, I haven't heard a lot of crazy things, okay, okay. you know? Yeah. Like, back in the days, I've yeah. heard some crazy things. Yeah. But, you know, in the past two years, I feel like people are more adjusted, okay. more mature. Yes. Yeah, I think that maybe that's fair. That's fair. Or either that or it's just not getting out there as much. That's true. Yes. That's true. All right, very good. Is there anything that you want to say to any of the fans out there? Um, I mean, thank you guys for supporting me. Um, I think just keep working hard, and I think the results will show. Yeah. Well, one last question. Do you feel you have anything that you need to prove after last year? Because I feel like there were a lot of people who came out of the woodwork to be like, oh, see, Spica was overrated. So I don't know if you now feel like you're like, I got to show what I'm capable of. Uh, yeah, I would say so, because I feel like a lot of people, they discredit a player's like previous performance if they have like a one bad year or one split. Yeah. I, I, I feel like I see that happening a lot, like... Um, I guess, for example, like it always happens to fake it, right? Like people say he's not good. Uh, so I definitely, I think, I think going to display this year, definitely want to prove to other people that say, "Oh, you're, you suck." You know, they should. They, like, I'm happy that they replace you or something. You know, I'm gonna make them regret it. Um, really hard. Yeah. yeah, very good. Well, thank you so much for the interview. Looking forward to seeing what you guys are capable of doing. For everyone else, you can check out the rest of my coverage of all things LCS right here on my YouTube channel. LCS is back, baby, and so is TGI's coverage going into 2023. Of course, that coverage brought to you by Alienware, by the way. So if you appreciate the fact that the coverage is back, then you should go click the link in the description and head back to their site if you have been there before, I'm trying to like link the fact that I said LCS is back and TGI is back. Anyway, go check out their stuff. There's a link in the description. Uh, we love Alienware. It's good to be back. I'm actually quite happy to be here. So thanks for watching. Subscribe.